Hey guys, this is Greg at dogsanddoubles.com on Insta, at Dogs and Doubles. And I'm up at Poolin Auctions in Skowhegan, Maine. And I'm looking at some of the great doubles they have coming up in their spring 2019 sale, which kicks off on March 30th. Uh, so stay tuned, we're gonna go through these guns and uh, we're gonna show you why you're gonna wanna check out poolinauctions.com and put some bids in. Hey guys, so uh, back when I first got into over and unders and side by sides and all kinds of doubles, uh, one of the things that got me interested in them was reading about them, reading about guys out using them. I used to be a huge fan of Sports of Field Magazine. Uh, I used to love uh, Peter Hathaway Capstick, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I used to love reading about safari hunting. Um, and when I read those uh, classic stories, those guys were always carrying double rifles um, and sometimes they were carrying ones just like this. This is a Wesley Richards 470 drop lock double rifle. This is a beast of a gun and it was made to shoot big game like elephants, Cape Buffalo and hippos. This gun itself probably weighs, you know, 11 pounds overall. It's not super heavy, but it is beefy. And that's because 470, it's a lot of lead going down the barrel, a lot of power and a lot of recoil too. So you need that weight to absorb the recoil so uh, basically so you don't get knocked on your butt or just so much recoil that uh, you can't handle it and you'll miss your target. Uh, like I said, this gun's a drop lock. Uh, and what that means is Wesley Richards invented this uh, design called the Anson and Dealey box lock. And this is, this is an Anson and Dealey box lock. But what they did is they eventually evolved the design uh, and they made a little change to it. Uh, and we'll show you what that change is. So what they did, the first thing they did, they put a, this plate on here is on all box locks. Usually there's a screw right there. You have to unscrew it to remove this plate. But on the drop locks, there's a little lever, and this plate opens up. And then on the inside, you can see those are the locks right there. So when you pull the trigger, the locks are what makes the gun fire. Most guns, those locks are secured to the action here with little pins, and you can see them. They look like little screw heads. You can also see that there's nothing here on this one. There's just some really nice, tasteful scroll engraving. That's because the locks drop out. See, there they are right there. So they're in the gun like this. The back end is what lifts up when you pull the trigger, and the hammer right here falls forward and hits the firing pin so the gun goes off. So like I said, these drop out of the gun, and the reason they were designed to do that is first, they wanted to clean up the sides of the guns to get rid of the pins so that uh, it would look nicer for the engraving. Those little pins sometimes get in the way and just kind of, they're kind of an eyesore to the engraving when it's done really well. The other reason they realized was that if you drop these locks out like this, this is really handy for someone who's traveling to Africa going to a really out of the way place and wants a gun that's incredibly uh, reliable, basically. So if you're in the field, and you have a problem with your locks, you would carry a spare set of locks with you. You'd pop out the damage lock. You pop in the new one, just like that. You close the bottom plate, pop the foreign back on and you're back in business. It's that simple. You're ready to go. The other things that you see on this gun, it's got a classic Wesley Richards doll head extension. It's got a bite right there. And the gun closes up. It's also just like that. So along with the, it has two underbites on it. It has your standard uh, pretty style double bites. It has this doll's head, which just helps it lock up a little more, gives you a little more secure action overall. It has a really wide Wesley top lever. Um, and then it also has a bolted safety, which you can see right here. The bolted safety is sort of a safety for the safety. And when you are hunting with a gun like this, um, you might be dragging it through all sorts of crazy brush. You could be on your hands and knees, um, or you could have an attendant who would follow along behind you and you would give him the gun and he would carry it along with him. And when you got into a situation where you're going to start hunting, you'd put out your hand and he'd put the gun in and you'd get going. Now the bolted safety, what this, is, what this does is it makes sure that the safety stays uh, locked off all the time. So if you're hunting with it, brush isn't going to knock this thing off and all of a sudden make the gun live so you could accidentally have a misfire. Or if there's someone carrying it for you and they're not paying attention, 
they're not going to accidentally put this off. And then when they go to hand you the gun, the gun will be live and you won't know it. So this is a nice little feature. You see it on uh, a lot of really top quality double rifles and it's nice to see it on this one. And overall, it's just this gun right here is just, it's in very nice shape. It's a great shooter. The bores on it are excellent, really crisp rifling on it. Um, it's been redone, but it was probably redone at the factory um, just to a super high quality. Um, and it's just great all over. Very nice, light, dynamic. Um, doesn't feel like a big, big lead pipe like some double rifles do. Uh, and it's coming up at pool and sale uh, at the end of the month. Here's the catalog for it. I think this one's coming up on March 30th. Um, and I'm sure it'll do well. And if you're going to be going to Africa and you're looking for a gun to take with you, this is the one you want to do it.